Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 and I will show you guys 10 features that I expect Apple to release with the iOS 16 update. Of course, there will be features that are actually found on the iOS code, which I expect Apple to release with iOS 16. And of course, we have other features that we expect Apple to include on this update once they release it on its first beta, which actually will happen this June. So it's a bit over two months until we see the first beta of iOS 16. Talking about that, let's go ahead and take a look at the calendar right here. So Apple holds their WWDC event on June. It's usually at the beginning of the June. So this year, I expect that to happen on June 6th right here. We have June 6th. That's the day that I expect Apple to hold their WWDC event. And of course, after the event, they will release the first iOS 16 beta for devs. And you can expect three or four weeks after also Apple to release a public beta of iOS 16, which of course will let public users install this beta on their device and test out the new features. And now let's move on to the 10 features that I expect Apple to release with iOS 16. One pretty good feature that has been found on the iOS code, this was found before the release of iOS 15.4. The feature didn't make it to iOS 15.4 and I believe Apple actually won't release this feature at all on iOS 15 because I believe iOS 15 is over. There won't be any bigger update to iOS 15. And that's a feature that will allow you to set a custom dark mode on Safari. Hopefully, we're not sure about that, but hopefully that will come to other apps as well. But as of now, the code suggests that that feature will let you set a custom dark mode for Safari. What I'm talking about here is settings that you will configure based on websites. So let's say you have a website which you prefer to always view on dark mode or light mode, you can go ahead and tap the AA button, go to the website settings and set up that setting. You can choose to view a website always on the light mode and it doesn't matter in which mode your device is, you will always view that website on the light mode. That's a really great feature. If it comes to other apps, that will be even better because we will have the ability to choose which app we want to use on the light mode, which on the dark mode. And that, of course, will override the system setting. And it doesn't matter in which mode your device is, you will have the app always on your preferred mode. Another feature that has been found since the release of iOS 15.4 and that's on the Safari advanced settings, we have the experimental features right here. And if you scroll down, you will find here push API. Now this is another big feature, which is actually quite good. It will allow of course for notifications from websites. You have this on your Mac and you will have this on your iPhone with Safari. I believe it will be on iOS 16. Again, this is right now an experimental feature. And of course it will take time for this feature to be implemented, but I believe this is also one of the features that is coming to iOS 16. So of course you can get notified from websites that you use on your iPhone. Now this right here is really interesting. This is another feature that I would expect Apple to release with iOS 16. Now this was a screenshot that actually Apple released when they talked about the new driver's license on the wallet app feature that they released with iOS 15.4. You can see what we're talking about here. You can see the back button on this one, then it was changed to this one. Now, this is the current one. This is the iOS 15 and you can see that little arrow right there, which of course you can hold and then go back. But we have another one right here. This is what is called a hamburger menu. So you basically tap on it and it will actually show you all the different options. So this might be coming to iOS 16 based on this screenshot right here, because of course this is not iOS 15 at all. We have never seen that before. So you can expect Apple actually to do that. I believe it might even be an option, basically like a toggle, which you would be able to turn on or off, whether you want to use this menu or you want to use the old back menu. This would be actually really, really great and quite a change to iOS. Moving on and talking about some of the features that I would expect Apple to release with iOS 16. These are not based on any leaks. These are just my expectations and what I predict that Apple will release, of course, on iOS 16. All of these based on all kinds of information and of course, based on expectations on features that should be updated because they haven't changed or updated or added to iOS in a long, long time. First of all, we're talking about the home screen icons. 
I believe Apple will change the home screen icons on iOS 16. Even though I don't believe we will get totally redesigned icons, I think they will add the macOS effect to the icons on the home screen as well. So you get that shadow, that 3D look, which we have on the icons on the Mac, that should come to iOS as well. And you can see this right here. This is a concept made by Angelo Libero. I will leave his Twitter linked right down below. Go ahead, follow him. Some amazing concepts, so make sure you do that. And this is what we can expect. Basically, a setting, a setting section on the settings app that will allow you to move to be different like modes of icons. We have the iOS, the classic in this case, and the Big Sur icon pack. I believe Apple will actually release this feature with iOS 16 and have these new icons on the home screen with this 3D look, which actually, actually looks quite good. On the iPhone screen, I believe they will look much, much better than they do on Mac OS. Next up, we're talking about home screen widgets. This update was supposed to come maybe to iOS 15. We expected it to happen. It didn't happen. Interactive home screen widgets. As of currently, the home screen widgets don't do anything. They just display information, tap on them, they take you into the app, and that's it. But having something like this, like the control center widget right here on the home screen where you can control and toggle your Wi-Fi, mobile data, airplane mode, or Bluetooth, that would be super, super useful. No need to go to the control center, just do anything from the home screen right here. I really expect Apple to do this this year, maybe have some of the widgets redesigned, of course, if they wanna add this feature, this capability, of course, they will also need to redesign some of the widgets that display home screen information right now, and of course, make them interactive. That would be much, much useful than just having widgets there showing different information. Now this right here, this is a leak, this is quite old. This was actually supposed to come to iOS 14. It didn't, it didn't come to iOS 15, but I would expect Apple with iOS 16 to have a new wallpaper picker. I'm not saying it's gonna be this exact one like we see right here, but I believe Apple should change the way we pick all wallpapers. And of course, the appearance that the wallpapers have on the home screen and lock screen have different options right here. As you can see them have, of course, the original ingredients and all that, and even have like different collections of wallpapers that you can use on the home screen and maybe even change them automatically. These are some of the changes that I would expect Apple to make to the wallpaper section on iOS 16, of course, except bringing also new wallpapers, which they should, hopefully it won't be just one, just like it was last time. But expect a few changes on the wallpaper section, which actually hasn't changed for a long, long time on iOS. Hopefully with iOS 16, we will finally see a change there. Now this is probably one of the most requested features of iOS users, the ability to lock apps with Face ID, Touch ID, or a passcode, whichever authentication method you use on your device. And this right here shows just like a concept of how easy it would be for you to touch on the app and lock it with your Face ID. This would actually be quite useful. I know you lock your device with Face ID or passcode, but you might forget some. sometimes your device unlocked and you have your most important like private apps and stuff that you have on your iPhone locked with Face ID or a passcode. That would be super, super useful. I hope, I believe Apple might do something like this with iOS 16 and I hope they will. That would be actually very useful. As I said, this is one of the most requested features of iOS users as of now. I would expect Apple to also make some changes on the lock screen of iOS. iOS 15 actually was supposed to get a new redesigned lock screen, but it never happened. I believe Apple will make some changes with iOS 16, even though, again, don't expect anything crazy from Apple, like a total redesign or stuff like that. I believe they might add like a couple of things to the lock screen of iOS, and this right here would be actually be very, very useful. Now, currently we have only two buttons on the lock screen, so you will have the flash, you have the camera, but you still can have access to the camera from the right here by sliding. That's like two camera buttons on the lock screen. I don't know why we need both of them, but having the ability to quickly launch apps from the lock screen would be super useful for iOS users. Maybe even having the ability to actually change the function of these two current buttons that we have, that also would be 
good but of course not as having the apps that you want on the lock screen i would expect apple to actually allow us to launch apps on the lock screen or at least as i said change the function of the two current buttons that we have the camera and the flashlight to whatever we need of course and not just have those buttons which are there and you cannot change at all whether you need them or not now this is of course one of the biggest rumors of iOS 15, the redesigned control center it didn't happen again and I believe Apple will actually make it this year. iOS 16 I believe will have a completely new control center just like the one that we get on Mac OS that should be the one on iOS as well and this right here again by Angela Libero a great concept here and I like a really really good look of how the control center could be on iOS 16. This actually would be super useful and I believe this to be way way better than the current one that we have on iOS 15. So again I believe this is one of the most realistic predictions of iOS 16. I believe this will actually happen this year because the control center on iOS is actually not that good and the function that it has is not that good at all so expect Apple to redesign the control center and they're also adding more abilities to the control center on iOS 16. Now one feature that iOS or iPadOS currently has is the ability to take quick notes. And you can see also the folder right here on your iPhone. If you have an iPad and you have quick notes there, of course, you will get this. If you have iCloud notes enabled, you will get the folder on iOS. And that's of course the ability to simply swipe from the corner and quickly create a note. I would expect Apple to also implement this feature on iOS 16. Having the ability to actually quickly take a note from anywhere on your device would be very, very useful and it's something that I really believe Apple might add to iOS 16. And last but not least, we're quickly talking about supported devices on iOS 16. It is said that iOS 16 will actually drop support for the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus and the original SE. They have been supported by iOS 14. We didn't expect that. It, we didn't actually expect iOS 15 as well. Both supported these older devices and now finally Apple is letting them go and they're not getting iOS 16. This is the rumor, this is the report that we got earlier this year. So if you have one of these older devices, don't expect your device to be capable of running iOS 16. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are some of the features that we got from the code of iOS and of course from some leaks and of course the other ones that we expect Apple to release on iOS 16. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.